Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2021, Rupal Boom or Bust, and we've ballsed up the Euro Places League thing. We finished either third or fourth in it, so today we're just going to be playing one match, but it will be the big Crokey Cup final against Standard Liège, the chance to win our first proper trophy in charge of Rupal Boom. We do still have to play Charleroi, which I'm going to just do off camera, and then obviously we'll have the end of season awards and all that nonsense. Let's play some football and maybe win a trophy. That was a weird intro, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, we've played four matches in between episodes. We beat Standard Liège earlier on. We beat them 4-2. Torres, Yarmolenko, Samura and Dehua Hulu with the goals in this one. We then drew 0-0 with Chaloua. We got smashed by Antwerp 3-0. And then we drew once again with Standard Liège, this time at Richard Ennin with a late, late equaliser in the 93rd minute. We've got Standard Liège, obviously, in a moment. We still have to play Chaloua. This is how the little competition places look. It doesn't really care. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter too much anymore. We could technically finish second if we beat Charleroi and Antwerp beat Standard Liège. But I don't think it's going to get us any European football. It might. Hold on. I've just had a thought. Did we get European football for this? When it qualifies for the Europa League playoff. UEFA Europa League play What is that? So that's this here. So last season, does that mean we're, we're potentially going to get European football? Obviously, we need to beat Standard Liège and then we get some Europa League stuff. But we might be in Europe next year. Okay, that's interesting. Right, let's play Standard Liège. Let's hopefully win ourselves a trophy. But I guess the bigger prize might be European football. The starting lineup then for the cup final will be Andre in goal, a back four, which is a bit broken. We've got Bernard Girard, who is a left back, playing as a right back. We've got Alan House and Sio in the middle. We've got Abubakar Keita, who's a centre back, playing as a left back. Zazua and Yarmolenko will be the midfielders with Torres, Polizzi, Samura, and Dehuahulu with the basically, those are the ones that should be scoring us the goals. The reason why our defence is a mess Abubakar Lowe's injured, Prissa Ken is injured, Naka is still knackered. He's almost no longer knackered. Wagner is also injured as well. So, so yeah, there's there's quite a few injury problems going on, which means that Gerard is going to be our right back today. I could play Morton Beck, but I don't like him. I don't want him in the club anymore. And I know it's a cup final and I'm not wearing a suit. And it's basically because my house right now is a mess because of basically building work and decorating work and stuff going on. And my suit is kind of packed away in the loft. So that's why I'm not wearing a suit. So you're going to have to deal with it. Standard Liège then, obviously we know they're a good side, but I think they've underachieved this season because they were in our little, basically they finished, I think they finished seventh. They weren't particularly much further up the table to us. So they have had some issues. We've obviously overachieved. I think they've underachieved. Let's, I mean, a win would be lovely, wouldn't it? A win would be absolutely lovely. But I'm now kind of looking towards maybe do we get in the Europa League? Polizzi's stolen this ball away early on. Number 96 finds Torres. The Colombian's gone for a long-range effort and rattled the post. And Standard Liège get that ball clear. Bright start, although it was literally the first highlight of the game. And now Standard have come back, had four chances, two of them on target themselves. None of them highlight worthy. Cross comes in. Header not quite clear, not quite clear, still not quite clear. CO gets it clear eventually. That's a bit of a risk, bit of a dodgy bit of highlight there. 20 minutes now on the clock and Van Heusden with the free kick for standard. Crossfield ball finds this man's name, Balik Wisher. Head, headed effort? It's not a headed effort. It was kicked with his feet. Goes wide of the post. They've got another chance. Rice, Reese, whatever. Bastian has it. Torres is still with them though. Reese again with it. Torres is chasing him every single step of the way. Back post though. They've got the ball. They've slotted it underneath the goalkeeper. Tsietsishvili, maybe, has scored the goal for Standard Liège. Not ideal. Reese again with another throw. So far, everything has been standard, hasn't it? And that's that's a penalty, isn't it? Or oh, Palencia's almost put that one in. Andre's made a very good save. I thought that was going to be a pen. Instead, we do only have to deal with a corner. Amala takes this corner towards the middle. It's a header clear from Samura, possibly. And the goal scorer gets this back in towards goal, though. Palizzi with a wonderful slide tackle. Not good enough, though. Amala kicks it straight into Polizzi. Now Raskin has this ball. I don't know whether this highlight's just going to stop any second now, or is there actually going to be a chance? I think there's going to be a chance, you know. Sentosa crosses the ball in. Co gets it clear. Polizzi controls it. Now the highlight ends. It's not looking good, is it? We're going to give him a demand more. We've had no shots on target. We have had three chances, but none of them on target at the moment. 
almost at half time, but here could be our first chance. Yarmolenko is going to hopefully get this ball. He eventually does and goes back to the South Korean defender. CO is running forward. Long ball towards Angel Torres on the right. Three in the middle. Crosses it into Huahulu's there. Facing away from goal. Back to Torres. Now Gerard. He's very, very small. He's a tiny human. To Huahulu's there. Gerard is what? Like five foot one? Gerard seems. Uh, he was scarily small. Like I feel like there's like, like a baby playing football. I need to have a look to see how big he is. He's 5'7". He's not 5'7". There is no way he's 5'7", right? Anyway, straight into the second half. We are doing no changes at the moment. It's only 1-0 and all it's going to take is one chance and we'll be back into this game. Amala's running with this ball. Long range effort. Not the best effort. Goes well wide of Andre's post. Still 1-0 but first chance of the second half goes standard way going to give them a demand more because everyone just seems really smiley and happy but not really doing anything hour on the clock it's a free kick okay van Houston steps up to take this one curling effort andre with a decent ish save i feel like he didn't need to make the save i think it was already going wide concedes a corner instead amala steps up right footed corner towards the front post yarmolenko i think that was gets the ball clear Samura is going to chase it down and get there first. He's gone off to the right-hand side to find Torres. This could be the chance. If Torres can get down that line, Rice with a tackle, it's going to be a throw, which we're not going to see. Right, Yarmolenko's having a bad game today, so we're going to do La Rosa in the middle of the pitch to be that DLP. Do we do other changes? Polizzi's playing badly, so we're going to do Abaz. I think that's it for the moment. Defensively, we are struggling. We are struggling defensively. Everyone's on a 6-4. Dahuahulu and also Samura on 6-3s and 6-4s as well. They've got the ball once again into the penalty area. This man, it's a long confusing name. I'm not going to try and say it. Rice, Reese, whatever his name. It's a short name and it's also very confusing. Bastion, penalty area. Torres has kicked him over. That's game over, isn't it? That is game over. Torres might be getting a second yellow card. He's not getting a second yellow card. Come on, Andre. Come on, Andre. You can do this. If you save this, the game is still alive. Andre's done it. Andre's done a Jamal Blackman. Oh my word. We are still in with a chance. The cross comes in. Howes has finally got that ball clear. Samura's going to control this. Is this highlight carrying on? Is this going to go Rupal Boom's way? Plays it across to Abaz. Edge of the penalty area. He's gone for goal. What are you doing, you clown? I'm going to encourage them. I'm going to encourage them. There's a chance. We've got a chance. There's 10 minutes to play. Literally one person on our team has turned up. One person, and that's Andre, and he saved a penalty. Everyone else is just doing badly. It's going to be a 1-0 defeat then. We've got a minute of injury time to play. Standard Liege have the ball edge of our penalty area. Andre makes a fairly comfortable save. This has to be basically route one, doesn't it? Andre does go route one and kicks it straight to a red shirt. It's game over. It's game over, everybody. We've done all right to get to this point. I'm not even sure how we managed to get to this point. We've done all right to get here. The ball's gone off for a goal kick. The full-time whistle is literally seconds away. But the game is just going to draw itself out doing the annoying end-of-match highlight now, isn't it? Full-time whistle is seconds away. Literally nothing has happened for the last, like, 45 seconds of this highlight. Kate has gone long, doesn't find anybody. The full-time whistle goes. Standard Liège then win the Croaky Cup. But we were close. We were deceptively close. We had a very good season, an unnecessarily good season. We didn't deserve to really get this far. We just kind of grinded out a few half-decent results against poorer sides. We, we finished second. We still might be in with a shout of Europe. I don't quite know how it's going to work, but runners-up medals, that's a thing, right? Well, 1-0 it was then in the end. We are defeated in the Croaky Cup. We pick up 51,000. Is that it? 51k. And then we give 20k back out to the players for getting there. Surely we are an overachiever. We're not. Racing Hades are an overachiever. That's a great name for a team. We are runners-up. It's it's fine I guess we've got probably another 12 years of this save if we don't win the croaky cup in the next 12 years this was our only chance and I'm going to be quite annoyed but we've we're way ahead of schedule aren't we right we've still got one more match to play of the season we're not going to play it on camera because it means absolutely nothing so join me in a second where we'll have the end of season awards and obviously I'll tell you what happens in the Charleroi game End of season award time. Let's not talk about what happened against Charleroi. We might have lost 5-2. We finished bottom with that little group. End of season awards. It's been a successful year. We got to a final. We finished in the top eight. We also didn't get relegated. Let's just focus on the positives, shall we? Focus on the positives. 
What has happened then? Come on, game. This always takes a long time to load. There we go. So, new arrivals. There's a lot of them. There's there's a fair few. I say there's a lot. There's, a, there's some. There's a reasonable amount. If we have a look, who is our star signing? It is Andre is our star signing. Kind of didn't really have a choice with him, did we? We needed a goalkeeper, so we brought one. Jamal Blackman actually got a 7.25 average rating across two games, mainly because he saved one penalty. Zazua, who we technically signed this season, even though he was here for the past two seasons, scored... Sorry, didn't score. He scored four, but he got 16 assists. 16 assists. That is almost an assist every other game, which is absolutely nuts. Lafomba, who we had on loan, got a goal and an assist to his name as well. He is available on a free, which I'm kind of tempted, but I'm not sure. Obviously, Yarmolenko as well. Eventually, once we got him performing, six goals, two assists to his name. Decent performance. La Rosa scored a couple of goals. Both of them were absolutely ridiculous. Richie Enin was a bench warmer for the most part. Sio, who only just joined recently, six games, didn't score a goal for us. But he's got some potential in him. Plenty of time for the future. Alan Howells, another one, played a lot of football for us. I want to extend his loan deal. But financially, we are in a bit of a pickle, so we can't really do that. Silas Knacker is always knackered. Broken leg, broken foot, broken heart and broken dreams for Silas Nacker, I think, for most of this season. Dennis Weidner, similar to Nacker, got injured quite a lot. Only 19 appearances, one goal, one assist to his name. For Choviak, not as good as I was hoping he'd be, basically. Shevchenko went out on loan, apparently played 25 games on loan. 6.24 average rating, clearly played really well. And so do Fall, who we signed right at the end. Transfers out, no one really... It doesn't matter who we sold, does it? We sold them. Thomas and Zinger scored 19 goals for US Rebecca. Decent performance for him. Not that he's a, he's not at a club anymore. Oh yeah, and I released Stefan Panic. Stefan Panic, I just terminated his contract because I was getting annoyed with him. Loans out as well. Lots of people going out on loan. Anyone doing all right? It's already sort of average rating. No one really decent to talk about. Quite a few players played a lot of football, but yeah, no one really that we kind of look to loan out and try to get a decent return on. Eighth place. Eighth place is where we finished. The board are delighted with the top half finish. They wanted us to battle bravely against relegation. There was a time just before the uh, the Qatar World Cup where we might have slipped into a bit of a problem and basically been in a relegation scrap. But the January form that we had basically saved our bacon, didn't it? And we've now finished eighth place in the table. Standard Liège seventh, Charleroi in sixth, and Royal Antwerp finishing in fifth place there. We've also got the Money Cup which we didn't win, the Qatar Cup, or the Qatar Cash Cup, which we also didn't win, and the Croaky Cup. Hold on, the board are delighted that we reached the final of the Croaky Cup. Are they? Oh, this is just irrelevant for these two competitions. And then obviously, Croaky Cup, we know. We've just lost it. Biggest win, 6-0. It's always one of those, isn't it? It's always one of the first games of the season in the Croaky Cup. 6-0 against Mew. We win 3-0 in the match against KVK, which I think might have even been on camera, this one. Or was it? No, this was at the very start of the season? Yeah. I don't think this was on camera. We won that one 3-0 anyway. Goal of the season goes to Emil Abaz against KVK, which I think this one was on camera. It definitely was on camera, because I remember Thomas Isherwood scoring for them, and then me trying to work out whether he was from the north of England or not. Abaz controls it on the right-hand side, takes it past his man into the penalty area, just blast it into the back of the net. Decent goal. We did score quite a few very good goals. La Rosa, I know, scored a couple of very good goals. Yarmolenko as well scored a couple of good goals. So, uh, yeah, we, we scored some decent goals this time around. This is always a worry. And by a worry, we have no money. Annual revenue, we've gone... Our sponsorship has stayed the same. Broadcast and everything else has gone up. But not by a lot. I don't know whether there's just going to be this massive pile of money thrown at us for finishing eighth in the table at the end of the season because we really could do with it we are not financially in a good way if we keep going this way we are just going to get deducted points because we are financially unstable that is how bad it is going to be how did we line up yeah we like like that wasn't it so do Sai, our number one keeper jansen's house kato and weidner la rosa and zazura in the middle la rosa is a weird one because i don't think he played too much Eight starts, seven off the bench. Polizzi and Torres on the wing. Dehua Hulu and Samura as our strikers. 24 goals for Dehua Hulu and 14 for Samura. We scored goals for fun. Nine for Torres and Polizzi each as well. We got goals from everywhere. 
accolades then. Did we win anything? Did we? Bollocks. We won nothing. Competition awards, nothing at all there. Dehua Hulu, fans player of the season. Samura, young player. Signing of the season, as we know, is Andre. Goal of the season is Zavaz. Dehua Hulu, 18 league goals, 12 assists for Zazua, 4 man of the matches for Dehua Hulu, and 7.0 rating as well. And there you can see the record breakers. It's, it's one man, isn't it? It's just one man. Big Ollie D with 24 goals, 18 goals in the league, 3 goals in a match, 3 goals in a match, 7 man of the match awards. He's not as bad as Cater when it comes to discipline. 18 yellow cards and 1 red card for Cater. That's a lot. Our highest transfer fee, £670 for Vachoviak. Sadu side leaving the club for half a million. Jerome Thomas scoring our youngest ever goal scorer. Yarmolenko, oldest ever goal scorer at 33 years old and 203 days. And he's going to be here next season. So that probably going to go up to 34 years, isn't it? Players then moving into the overall best 11. What have we got? Angel Torres is in there, but I think he's on the bench. Cater, Enin and Andre all making it as well, but I think all three of those also making it onto the bench. Yes, they are. Andre's there. We've then got Torres, Cater and Richie, Enin all onto the bench. Really, Guest Ed's still there, which is good to see. No, Samura. I feel like Samura should be ahead of Guest Ed. Season review. We don't really care too much about this. We have a problem. Our contract expires end of... Oh, no, end of next season. Okay. I thought it was end of this season our contract was expiring. And I was a bit worried because they hadn't offered me a new one. We're fine. We've got another year. They basically want us to work within wage budget, which is fine. They still want us to repair the financial damage. But that is end of two seasons time, which is fine. We, we can do that. We can just nod and agree and pretend that that's going to happen. Team meeting. Right. What do we say? Avoid relegation, I think. We're good enough to not be relegated. Pleased. Everyone's pleased. Well done. Good job, everyone. We'll sort promises out when we get back because I can't promise anything because we've got no money. New season team reports. I mean, I, I feel like this is irrelevant because we're probably going to replace half of these players in the summer. We also get to pick where we want to go for our training camp. We can go to Luxembourg in Belgium. That's, that's, not, that's not where Luxembourg... Luxembourg's its own country. Unless there's one in Belgium. We're going to Luxembourg in Belgium, apparently. And yeah, let's not talk about this result, shall we? I mean, we scored twice. Right, I've gone forward another day, and we've got some budgets for next season. £84,000 a week wage budget, and a little bit of transfer budget, which we are not going to be able to spend. We need, apparently, to expand the stadium in order for it to be adequate for the league, which we can't, but the board have then said it can. What? We're building a new stadium. We're bu We've got no money, guys. Hank Celine has gone. You know what? We'll we'll just we'll just build a new stadium instead. We are literally two million in debt. We're two million pounds in debt, and you've gone. We'll just spend eighteen million on a new stadium. Morons! Absolute <laughs> morons! When is this getting built? So the third of the seventh, twenty twenty-five. So two years. It's going to take for them to build a 15,000 capacity stadium, which is good news, but also we don't need it. We're barely selling out that one. Or are we selling? No, we are. Okay, we're selling out every single week, but we don't have the money. We are, we're in some really, really difficult times financially. A bit more time has passed. It's now the 22nd of May and we've got some end of season awards. Dehua Hulu and Zazua are in the Belgian Pro League Team of the Year. Dehua Hulu starts alongside Badji, who is actually the top scorer in the league by one goal. He beat him by one goal. Dehua Hulu comes in second place, as you can see here. He got 19. Dehua Hulu only got 18 goals, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Zazua, third place most assists in the league, which is weird. I wasn't expecting that. And we didn't get anyone in goalkeeper of the season, which is no real surprise. Can I vote for myself? Is every manager on here? I'm one of the favourites. I'm one of the three favourites. So, I mean, who is the favourite? I'm going to vote for Vibra, Verba, and then Philippe Clement, so he gets the least points. I want to try and win that thing, okay? I can't be the only one who does that. Whenever you all play it or you can win an award, you vote for the... The one who's least likely to win it, just so, you know, everyone else should vote normally. Now, I'm carrying on because I want to get to a point where we get maybe some money. 
I want some more money. I think there's still random little games being played in, like, the relegation playoffs and stuff like that. So I want the season to finish before we can actually basically end this episode. Well, I mentioned it earlier on that our contract was up soon and they've just offered me a new one, which is good to see. I'm going to negotiate and basically just nod and go, yeah, that'll do. Eight and a half thousand pounds a week. I'm getting paid more than double our highest earner. Still no news about money coming to the club, but Rudy Gested has decided he is no longer going to be a professional footballer. He will be retiring, but he is staff. He's a rubbish head of youth development. Cool. So good luck on finding a job because you're never going to get one. I think if nothing's happened by the 1st of June, we're just going to call it there. We still haven't found out whether I've won manager of the year either. That might be in a minute. Seriously, you make me wait this long and I finish third. Third place manager of the year. What did... I mean, did Ghent win the league? They finished fourth. They finished fourth. Admittedly, the season before that, they finished tenth. So I guess it is an improvement. But they finished fourth. We should have finished bottom. We finished eighth. This is a bigger achievement than you finishing fourth, probably. Right, we're already on to the 2nd of June. And I don't think we're going to get any news about finances, you know? I think we've had all of our finances. We're just stuck. We're genuinely just stuck in this situation. We got the £18 million come in and then spent £18 million. I genuinely don't know what we can do to get us out of this situation other than me needing to be a little bit more sensible when it comes to spending wages, which might need to be the plan for season four. Season four might be very similar to this season where we might finish in the middle of the table, but it might be a year that we need to do that because if we try and improve and climb up the table, we're going to break the finances a little bit more. Maybe we just spend a season or two just plodding along mid-table side, maybe six episodes a season, just so we can get some money behind us. Maybe we need to genuinely try and fix this financial situation that we're in. Well, that is going to do it then for season three of RuPaul Boom or Bust. In the end, I think we had a reasonable season, finishing in the top half, eighth place, getting to a Crokey Cup final, but also obliterating ourselves financially might come to bite us but we do have a new stadium to look forward to in season six i think is when it might be ready which is quite early on i genuinely wasn't expecting to have a new stadium at least until maybe 10 years into the game apparently we're getting one a lot sooner but that is going to do it then for this episode in this season thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy do please remember to leave a like if you're new here and you want to see more hit the subscribe button ding the bell as well so you get notified whenever season four begins and i'll see you in season four in the next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>